This despite several recent incidents highlighting problems with emergency services in the district. Jay Corp joins us in the newsroom with a story that you'll only see on 7J. Candace, in less than 12 hours, D.C. firefighters with Local 36 will gather to hold a vote of no confidence against Fire Chief Kenneth Ellerby. Tonight, we're learning that other members of the department will be outside of that meeting to support Chief Ellerby. ABC 7 News has learned that the Progressive Firefighters Association of Washington, D.C., a part of the International Association of Black Professional Firefighters, will hold a pro-Kenneth Ellerby rally during the vote. We have complete confidence in his abilities to do the job, and he has done the job. That is our main message. The chief has been getting negative press since he's been here. Progressive leaders we spoke with say while there have been some bumps in the road during Chief Ellerby's tenure, they insist on the whole his efforts to move the department forward should be applauded, not vilified. Well, we would like the citizens of the District of Columbia to look at the overall picture of what the fire chief is actually doing and then grade him on that not just one, not just two incidents. The firefighters union has clashed with Chief Ellerby of late over a long list of issues, including ambulance response delays and a recent scathing report by the inspector general that showed an alarming number of reserve vehicles in poor condition. I want to know what's going on. Councilman Tommy Wells told us this latest problem is undermining his confidence in the department's ability to respond to any crisis that requires additional resources. We just had a shooting of 13 people. If that had been 13 casualties, 13 you know, folks that were in life-threatening situation, I'm not confident that we had the ability to respond. And some department veterans are coming forward to talk about their concerns, including Robert Alvarado. There is inefficiency and incompetence in every division right now, mainly based on his lack of leadership. The vote starts tomorrow around 9 a.m. with results expected later in the afternoon, and we expect a lot of hard questions to be directed at Chief Ellerby this Thursday during a fire department oversight hearing before the D.C. Council. Live in the newsroom, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. All right.